Welcome back. For more on our top stories, please go to our website, channelstv.com, and on youtube.com forward slash channels web. You can also watch us on the go on your mobile device. Just log on to m.channelstv.com or download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS, and Windows phones from their respective stores. Having the Channels TV and Channels 24 app gives you access to news and updates. You also have the eyewitness feature, so you too can be part of the news. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu and follow the instructions to share those pictures, videos, or news of happenings around you. The president is the host of this year's West African Leaders Meeting holding in Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. The ECOWAS meeting holding today has in attendance the president of Liberia, Madam Ellen Johnson Salif, Ghana's former president, John Mahama, and president of Senegal, Macky Sall. The leaders are discussing the Gambian presidential election outcome, where President Yahya Jame is refusing to step aside after losing the election. President Mohamedou Buhari is the chairman of the mediation team to the Gambia. In the aviation sector, the federal government has promised to install a low-level wind shear alert system in all airports across the country as part of efforts to ensure the safety of air travelers. Speaking at the commissioning ceremony of the facility at the Umaru Musa Yaradua International Airport in Katsina, the Minister of State for Aviation says the government is also addressing the issue of instrument landing systems and other navigational aids at the various airports. He reaffirms the government's resolve to pursue its policy of safety at all times through regular maintenance of airports and facilities that will aid smooth operations. The low-level wind shear alert system has been installed at the Umar Musa Eradu International Airport in Katsina. At the commissioning of the facility, the Minister of State for Aviation assures that government will promote safety through the provision of navigational aids in the nation's airports. Aviation safety and security are top priority issues for the present federal government under the leadership of His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari. The successful installation of LLORs at 13 airports in the country by NIMED is therefore in consonance with the vision safety policy of this administration. The agency has procured and installed other weather monitoring equipment, including meteorological satellite image receivers. The Director General of the Nigeria Meteorological Agency explains the reason for the installation of the low-level wind shear alert system at the airport. The wind shear alert system we have installed at this airport has the capacity to detect calm wind, steady winds, wind shifts in relation to the runway, wind gusts, sustained divergent winds, which indicate wind shear or strong and sustained divergent winds, which indicate micro bursts around the airport. Wind shear, according to the Nigeria Meteorological Agency, was first identified in Nigeria in June 1956, when an aircraft taking off from Kano encountered it and crashed with 32 fatalities. A recent study jointly carried out by the Accident Investigation Bureau and NIMET has also shown that this phenomenon is prevalent in every part of Nigeria. The Minister of Power, Works and Housing, Mr. Babatune Fashola, has been speaking on the current level of power generation and supply in the country. The minister, who faulted current statistics on the number of consumers nationwide, however, insists that a lot is being done to improve the current state of things. He was speaking on our breakfast program, Sunrise Daily. Things that will change. Governance of the discourse when NERC is fully reconstituted, because that's their responsibility. Transparency, audits, accounts, and audit also of the uh, consumption market. The records I met 
indicate that only 6 million people are subscribers to electricity. That doesn't make sense to me. If it is true, I need to verify it. But I think there are more Nigerians who are connected to electricity than 6 million consumers. At the time, whatever time that data was put together, have we gone back to do a data, uh, an audit of their new energy demand? Between that time and now, how many of them have bought tablets like, like you have? How many of them have bought phones? How many of them have bought extra, extra phones? And so on and so forth. You know, because if you don't know what your customers need, you really can't deliver it. We have, at the moment, about 11 major transmission projects going on to expand the grid. At this moment, the last simulation of the grid from the completed projects in the last one year is that the grid now has a carrying capacity of 7,200 megawatt. That's what it can carry now. So all of the stories you heard is only 5,000 clearly is now uh, 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 dispelled as on on verifiable assertions. Uh, as I said before, the grid is dynamic. It has to continue to evolve and grow. Um, in terms of energy production, in the next few days, we will finish the second phase of the uh, Usman Dam solar power. It was about 800 watts before. It's supposed to be 1.2 megawatt. The second phase will finish, uh, will be commissioned in, in a number of days. Mr. Babatunde Fashola, Minister of Power, Works and Housing. Meanwhile, power supply may have improved in certain areas of Lagos State, with certain areas having some hours of uninterrupted power supply. The electricity distribution companies, DISCOs, are however complaining that debt owed them by government MDAs has hampered the growth. The DISCOs say government tariff pegged at around 28 naira should be 50 naira for sustainable operations. However, consumers maintain power generation still leaves much to be desired with persisting undersupply, erratic supply and estimated billing. You're watching news across Nigeria. Coming up in the southeast, the Anambra State Government provides infrastructure for teachers in the state. Please stay with us.